Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to take a look at Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles on a Half Shell, Turtle Power. <laughs> now, these are not my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. These actually belong to my grandmother. In the early 90s, when the cartoon series came out, my grandmother, be yes, she did watch cartoons at that time, became a very big fan of the Ninja Turtles. Me, I was um, getting a little older. I was getting out of toys for a while. Still collecting things, but not playing with toys. So, but she did like the Ninja Turtles. She liked the movies. She liked the animated shows. She liked the live action shows. And she also liked the toys. My mom in the early, early 90s, found these and bought these for her. And these sat on her desk until the day she died. They got packed away, and I was considering putting these on display in my toy room, but I just didn't want to put the five turtles on display alone. So slowly I found other things that she had collected, but it wasn't until I was going through Target on a trip that I ran across some stuff that forced me to get these and everything else out and put them on display in the toy room. So we're going to start right here with the five heroes. We have Leonardo, Raphael, Splinter, Donatello, and her favorite, Mikey. And yes, they have all their weapons. They are actually in the back of the Mutant Marauder, as you can see in the back. Now, the Mutant Marauder I have because she did not like the Turtles party wagon that was featured in the show. But when Ninja Turtles Next Mutation came out, they had a Hummer. She loved Hummers, so this became their vehicle. And this sat with the turtles on display. Now, some other stuff she had. This Ninja Turtles notebook. Excuse me. Ninja Turtles pens. Coloring book. Ninja Turtles Way of the Warrior desk set. And Ninja Turtles minifigures. I put these turtles on display in a very nice place right below my Batman collection. Of course, because of the Batman meets Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon that came out just a few years ago. You'll notice three decks of playing cards. This is because I do collect playing cards, believe it or not. I have a very large collection. So I'm starting to put these then match my toy collections out with them. Now, what caused me to put these turtles on display when I was in Target? It was finding the bad guys. And as you can see right here, we have the reissued Shredder, the reissued Bebop and Rocksteady, and the reissued Foot Soldier. Now, finding the four baddies to go with my five good guys made it easy for me to be able to put these on display in my room because I feel like it's a collection now. But right ahead, you see the final figure I needed and I finally received it. This is Eastman and Laird's Teen Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Adventures, April O'Neil. So with April now joining the group and I've left her in package because for what I paid for it, I'm not opening it right now. She is the final piece for this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles collection. And I think it's perfect because it kind of sets off what Wave 1 was with all these characters. And I think this is a nice enough complete collection of Ninja Turtles to put on display in here. And also to honor my grandmother's love of a cartoon and toy line that... I didn't get into, still can't get into, but 
she had a love of it. I loved her. And my mom was wonderful in finding these for her. And she loved them until the day she passed. And this is in her honor. So, as Mikey would say, Calabunga, dude! And I'll see you next time. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button and tap the bell for notification. Also, check out my Facebook and Instagram pages for news and upcoming video information. Check out my other videos if you enjoy coin collecting or toy collecting. Thank you very much for watching.